Hello friends, welcome to our channel Electronic Stuff. In my previous video, we have seen the VI characteristics of PN junction diode. And today, in this video, we are going to understand about Zener breakdown and Avalanche breakdown. And friends, these two types of breakdowns will occur only in case of reverse bias of PN junction diode. And now here, when we take a reverse biased PN junction diode, as you can see here, negative terminal of the battery is connected to the P side and positive terminal of the battery is connected to the N side. And we also discussed earlier that in PN junction diode, the only current takes place is current due to minority charge carriers. And due to this reverse biased condition, the width of this depletion region is wider. And as you can see here, this is the volt amp characteristics of this reverse biased PN junction diode. And initially, if we increase the voltage, then the current which flows due to minority charge carriers is constant. And when we go increasing the voltage, suddenly at a certain point, this current increases rapidly. And the point of voltage where this current increases rapidly is called as breakdown voltage. Now let us see how this current increases suddenly. So there are two reasons for this sudden increase in current. First one is Zener effect and second one is Avalanche effect. Now friends, let us discuss about Zener effect or Zener breakdown. So Zener breakdown usually occurs in heavily doped PN junction diodes. That means nothing but the impurities concentration level in PN junction diode is very high. And we also know that if the doping level concentration in PN junction diode is very high, then the depletion region will become narrow. And due to this narrow depletion region, for only very low reverse biasing voltages, a very high intensity of electric field is created. So how can we say that that high intensity of electric field is created? We can say it with a small example. Suppose, let us take the width of the depletion region as 200 angstroms, which is very small. And we are giving it a very less amount of voltage, that is 2 volts. So according to the formula V is equal to E into D, we can calculate electric field intensity, which is E is equal to V by D. And here, the voltage given is 2 volts. And the width of the depletion region is 200 angstroms, which is equal to 200 into 10 power minus 10. And this expression gives us E is equal to 10 power 8 volts per meter. See here friends. 10 power 8 volts per meter means it is a huge amount of electric field. And these electric fields are strong enough to break covalent bonds around the junction. Or in other words, we can say that these electric fields are intense enough to pull electrons out of the covalent bond directly inside the depletion layer. And as a result of this, large number of minority charge carriers are generated. And due to this generation of large number of minority charge carriers, a large current flows through the diode. It means the current increases. And on the other hand, we can say that due to this breaking of covalent bonds in depletion region, the reverse barrier which is present here is broken down. And this type of breakdown is called Zener breakdown. And the point of voltage where this breakdown occurs is called Zener breakdown voltage. So this is all about Zener effect or Zener breakdown. Now friends, let us discuss about avalanche breakdown or avalanche effect. And this avalanche breakdown usually occurs in lightly doped PN junction diode. And due to the reverse biasing voltage in PN junction diode, the width of the depletion region increases. And due to this increase in width of the depletion region, the majority charge cages which are electrons in N type and holes in P type cannot flow through this depletion region. And we know that in case of reverse bias, the only current takes place is the current due to minority charge carriers. And when we go gradually increasing in reverse biasing voltage, the width of the depletion region increases. And on the other hand, the electric field across the depletion region will also increase. And due to this high electric field, the minority charge carriers which are crossing the junction will acquire maximum kinetic energy. And due to this maximum kinetic energy, these free electrons will collide with the neighboring atom at a high speed. And due to this collision, a new electron hole pair is generated. 
and this newly generated free electron also gains more kinetic energy and hits the neighboring atom at a high speed and this process is continuous and this continuous collision process is responsible for the increase in the amount of minority charge carriers present in the depletion region and as a result of this the depletion region disappears and due to this disappearance of depletion region a huge amount of reverse current will start flowing through the pn junction diode and hence the current increases so this is all about avalanche breakdown so friends this is all about zener breakdown and avalanche breakdown thank you for watching please like and subscribe for more videos